You've reached the Love and Luck podcast. It's after midnight, so that means it's your birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, Kane. I'm sorry that you're both working and still packing on your birthday, but at least it'll all be over soon. Also, check your fridge when you wake up, because I've made arrangements for your birthday. Love you. Hey, thank you so much for the cake. My housemate said you dropped it off after I went to bed last night. Very sneaky of you. Well done. I had honestly kind of expected not to have anything birthday-ish occur today, so I'm really glad I get a cake. Wish you could come share it, but I think today's going to be busy enough for you. Which reminds me, don't forget the moving van will be coming by your place at around 3pm. The driver has your number if there's a problem. I wish I could come over after work to help out, but I've got my own packing to finish up. Hey babe. Don't worry about helping me unpack. There will be plenty of unpacking left for us to share after your stuff is here as well. Do you want me to come over to your place tomorrow to deal with the removalists there, so you don't have to worry about leaving everything to your housemates? It's not like I have anything else I'd be doing tomorrow other than unpacking, anyway. Plus, the removalists will already know me from today, and you'd get to skip the small talk entirely, which... I imagine would be good for your anxiety levels. I'm really glad you like the cake. Sorry it's not homemade, but you know I'm a disaster in the kitchen. Love you. Hey. I was gonna check a sickie, to be honest, but your idea is actually better, and also means I don't lose a day's worth of pay. Thanks. I'll let my housemates know. See you tomorrow. Oh my god, I'm so tired. Moving is exhausting. At least I get to sleep before doing this all again with your stuff. I hope you're sleeping well. Love you. Can't wait to see you tomorrow. Hey honey, work is slow as fuck today and I'm bored as hell. I miss you. Hope the moving is going smoothly. I'm sorry I'm not there to help yet, but on the bright side, since I'm not there, you won't have to yell at me to leave the heavy lifting to the professionals. I'll see you later tonight. In our new home that we will be officially moved into by then. Oh, in case no one told you, there's cake leftovers in the fridge for you. Eat them. You deserve it. Hey, babe. So, I've started the unpacking and cleaning, and in the process of that, was poking around the bar downstairs today. It's definitely in need of some TLC, but I think it has a lot of potential. Plus, I just kind of love it. Like, sure, it's a bit small, and it needs a thorough dusting, and there's some things that need repairing or just updating, but I don't know. It feels good. I feel like it could be really special. I kind of... I kind of want to quit my shitty casual jobs and try to make a go of this, for real. I don't know if we can really afford that, or if I could even handle it at all, or if it would be successful, or any of that stuff, but... You've done all this research, you know the paperwork stuff inside out now, and I... For the first time in my life, I feel like I want to work really hard at something for its own sake. Not just coasting along working hard at shit jobs just to keep my head above water. I... Look, I don't know if we can pull this off, but... I'd really like to try. Can we talk about that when you get here tonight? Or... Well... When you get home tonight, I suppose I should say, since this is home now. 
Wow. That feels really good. I feel really good about all of this. Hey, we will definitely talk about the bar tonight. I'm sure we can find a way to make it work, somehow. Hi. It's just almost midnight, and you're asleep. I'm not used to the whole going to bed before 2am thing, so I slipped out of bed once you started snoring. Which is the best sound in the world, by the way. I know people are supposed to be annoyed by their partner's snoring, but I actually find it really soothing. I've been unpacking a little bit, but I'm taking a break. Might head back to bed soon. The view of the street from our lounge room window is really pretty at night. Street lights and a slow trickle of cars. Every now and then a tram goes past. Enough movement to make things feel alive, but not so much that it's anything but peaceful. Everything starts slowing down about this time of night. It doesn't get real magical until, like, 4am, but even the slow march towards that hour has its own kind of special feeling. I really like being a bit of a night owl. I mean, obviously I'm usually up late for party-related reasons, but even outside of that, I like it. <sighs> You're beautiful when you sleep, you know. I mean... You're beautiful all the time, but especially when you sleep. All your tension goes away. You look... vulnerable, I guess is the word. Soft. Oh, hey. The clock just ticked over. That means we've officially been together for one whole year. Happy anniversary, Kane. This place and this new chapter of life with you is the best gift I could possibly receive. I'm really looking forward to making this bar more than just our home. I love you. Hey you. Thank you for that voicemail. I am going to be walking on air all day. When my co-workers ask me why I'm smiling like an idiot, I hope you're okay with being blamed for it. Sorry I didn't wake you before I left this morning, but honestly, I just can't ever bring myself to do it. I know you said it's okay if I do, but I just can't do it. You should probably get used to waking up to voicemails from me, I think. I doubt I'm going to grow out of my inability to disturb you in the morning anytime soon. Happy anniversary, Jason. I love you, and I'm looking forward to many more years with you. Hi, this is Jason, and you've reached the Best of Luck Bar, an alcohol-free social hub for queer, weird, and otherwise delightful people. We're not open yet, as we are still undergoing construction. If you need to get in touch with us for trade reasons, please leave a message. If you're a soon-to-be customer, then please be patient with us while we set up over the next few weeks. Check us out on social media in the meantime, and we hope to see you when we open. Love and Luck is written by Erin Kian and produced by Paso Volpez Productions. Kane is voiced by Lee Davis Thalborn. Jason is voiced by Erin Kian. Credits spoken by Rosalind Quinn. Recorded by Kermy Braden. For more information about Love and Luck, check out our website, loveandluckpodcast.com. You can also find us on Facebook as Love and Luck Podcast and follow us on Twitter at, at loveluckpodcast. Love Luck Podcast.